I mean, there are steep climbs, but it's not like super long. In Manila. In Manila. Hello. Yeah. As compared to in Cebu, there are climbs and they're long climbs. Yeah. Like, like this one. Just go straight. Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's so scary. Yeah. Mountain bike ramp. <laughs> it's so steep. And a jump. <laughs> it's so scary. That part, man. Scary? Yeah, man. It's scary. Mountain bikes are scary. Welcome to the vlog. I'm here with my cousin, Paolo from Manila. He's on a road bike. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> and then, uh... This is the same route my hardware building. Yeah, so this is pretty like, you know, in the backyard of Cebu. I went ahead a little bit to film. And then he thought I was attacking. <laughs> and he just <laughs> went, dropped me, man. <laughs> yeah. Good part of the downhill. So, I'll talk a little bit about the cassette. So, in Manila, so since you're borrowing this bike, mm -hmm. so it's a different bike, different cassette. In Manila, what cassette do you have? I'm using an 1128. This might be an 1132, I'm guessing. And I feel like it's easier when I climb as compared to an 1128. Like, I feel like I'm grinding. And then, especially like, so we just did this really steep section. Uh -huh. uh, for sure, double digits in the teens somewhere. And I assume on the 28, it's really like you're really grinding. Yes. But even in the, with the gear in the chat now, were you grinding or? Yes. Still grinding. <laughs> but I think it was easier as compared to using an 1128. Uh, for sure, right? Yeah. So here in Cebu, Alec, uh, I think an ele at least an 11.32 would be perfect. Road, road biking? Road biking, yes. I mean, there are steep climbs, but it's not like super long. In Manila? In Manila. Hello. Yeah. As compared to in Cebu, there are climbs and they're long climbs. Yeah. Like, like this one. I think we've been going up for an hour. <laughs> the road where it's like newly scraped uh, the one where it's like where it's very difficult to control yeah, the bike yeah. i forgot what you call it but yeah that portion it's the worst but the uh, with regards to cassette but there's an old school thinking where you know smaller cassette better yeah well during the time where triathlon was uh, a thing, uh -huh. the 1125 setup was the like the go-to. Oh yeah. Yes. And then what? If you had something bigger, it was frowned upon. No, na man. But siguro since triathlon, it's more of like flat races. That was like the setup ah. before. Because cycling before wasn't like a big thing. It was more of triathlon more than cycling. As compared to now, there are no events, like triathlon events. People shifted to cycling. So they were doing like more climbs, that sort of thing? Yes. Ah. 
That's why before, parang okay, 11.25. 11.25. Because it was more on flats. There are some old roadies here and they'll be like, you know, those frown on the big cassette on the big cassettes that are found on road bikes now. So there's a little bit of like macho-ness, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fact is, it's easier and in many cases faster. Correct, correct. Yeah, because you can spin. Yeah, like pros, I think they use like a 5339 crack, but with an 1128 cassette. Oh, and those are the pros. Those are the pros during races. Yeah. And then they're climbing like two, three thousand meters. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they are uh, like different, thousand, different times, times of different kinds of humans. Thousand watts for like three minutes. Yeah, crazy. Wow. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> right. Subscribe. All right. Like. Yeah, yeah. Do my work. It's good. <laughs> oh, gawas na ko. Good to see Paolo. He's here because it's our grandma's birthday. So I got to show off a little bit of uh, Cebu riding. S cycling in Cebu is pretty good. So that's it. That's the ride. Uh, again, stop by the villain dot shop. We've got new villain clothing there. Help support the channel. Help me make more videos. Ciao. Please subscribe. I didn't borrow. I sneak. I sneak. What do you have? My phone! It's my, my phone! phone.